Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden and I want to talk about my bean plant today. This is a nice little bean bush plant that's uh, from burpees. It's a nice little golden wax bean that's basically stringless. It doesn't grow up. It's uh, like a lot of bean plants do. It stays nice and compact. And this thing grows only about 15 to 20 inches tall as well as wide. So it's nice and small. Let me actually show you what the seed looks like. You see, nice and tiny, about half an inch. And you want to plant this thing also about the same distance or the same length of the seed down underneath below. So give it a nice burial. As you see, we have one here that actually didn't make it. I found it buried in the cocoa core here from the cup that I used. And I just planted it in some cocoa core here. And I put in a little double cup method until it sprouted on a little heat mat took about three days or so for this thing to sprout and it's doing quite well right now it's about 10 11 days old and as you see here it's putting on its first sets of true leaves right here looking nice and healthy and it's already putting on the second leaves here and this thing like I mentioned is a nice compact plant and the reason why I wanted to grow this plant was number one it's organic that's pretty important for me and the second one was it's a uh, 50 days to maturity so that's really really quick but after actually going on the website and doing a little more research on this plant a lot of people say that and even the company says itself that it takes about 55 to 60 days so it's still nonetheless five extra days 10 days that's not so bad with growing a nice little bean plant and the nice thing about this is the plant stays nice and compact and it grows really really prolifically so you will have a ton of beans off of this one plant and it's nice because it grows these yellow wax beans so you're able to really find it in in the harvest when you're actually coming in and looking for things to pick and if i spin this around a little bit you could see exactly what this plant looks like nice and beautiful and let me actually show you what the root system looks like everybody always loves to see the roots with these nice beautiful healthy roots and I'm growing this basically under a T5 for less than grow light. and this thing puts on basically I think like 96 watts so it really doesn't generate too much energy at all and this plant is looking nice and healthy it's basically about maybe four inches tall right now so not too big and I just basically transplanted it from the cocoa core here I pulled it out and I just put it in the net cup here and I sprinkled or I poured in these clay pebbles which works excellent and as you see the roots are growing nice and healthy and coming out all over the place here I mean look at that and for the fertilizer I use the same thing for all of my plants in their vegetative stage it's uh, basically a mixture of master blend for 1838. I use one gram and calcium nitrate one gram and Epsom salt. I use half a gram when it first puts on its first sets of true leaves here. And that gives me basically a PPM around like three to 400. And then I wait about a week and I give it full strength, which is um, the same, the same ingredients, except it's a uh, master blend two grams, calcium nitrate two grams and Epsom salt. I use one gram. And that should give me a, give me and you a PPM of around seven to eight hundred roughly, and the bean plant will absolutely love it here. And when it's actually beginning to put on some seeds, I mean some beans, I may actually increase the my ratios. So we'll see how it's going for now. But for now, I'm gonna keep the plant and the growth progress of it, this plant going, and maybe we'll do about weekly weekly updates, maybe every two weeks or so depending on how fast this plant grows, but I think as I come in every day, this thing keeps outgrowing my lights. I have to keep coming in here and raising it. As you see, it's already being kind of crooked because I want to keep it nice and low for the Swiss shard right there. And yeah, so that's pretty much what I got for you today. And if you liked the episode, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.